god. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 9. <laughs> so my plan for the day <laughs> is to do my hair again. What? <laughs> because I hate her. I hate her. Okay, so one, look at all this green. This like didn't turn. Well, like part of it kind of turned orange whenever I dyed it the last time, but a lot of the green stayed for some reason. Um, and then I just, I don't really like this orange color. I really just want it all to be like this dark brown so I can just forget about it, never deal with it again. It can grow out however and like, I don't know, just leave it alone. <laughs> so my plan is to go to Sally's. Walk into Sally's and be like, hey, Give me your darkest brown that's permanent. <laughs> that's my goal. That's my plan. But we'll see how that goes. And then I think I'll also, since I'll be out on the town, um, maybe go around McDonald's and get like an iced coffee or something. Because I literally feel like the second my eyes shut, <laughs> that I'll like fall asleep. That's how like tired I am right now. I don't really know why, but it's just it. So who... Sally's. Okay, I'm hoping you all will stay right there. I know it's a little crooked, but for some reason, when I put my camera standing straight up, <laughs> it like turns off. Like it acts like it uh, is like laying down and it's falling asleep on me or something weird. But when you're crooked and you're actually laying down, um, is right here so I don't understand that but so we're going to Sally's I'm very excited this is like one of our well we did a car vlog a long time ago but it was whenever I had my iPhone it really really sucked so hopefully oh shit hopefully this is much better because um, the audio hopefully is gonna be nicer but I don't really know we'll have to find out but we're going to Sally's to get hair dye now, my only concern is that this underneath is still green. So I don't know if that means I'm gonna have to like try to dye it again with this same color. But I don't know because I tried to do it twice and this green like would not go away. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm really hoping this turns out okay. Like I am, I'm, well one, I'm concerned about color. Two, I'm concerned about my hair literally falling out. If that's the case, then I'll just have to wear hats and like maybe buy a wig or something. I don't know. I decided to turn left way too early, but it's too late now, so I'm just going to pretend like I didn't make a mistake and pull into this parking lot here. <laughs> No biggie, no big deal. No need to be embarrassed or anything like that. Anyway, she gave me this hair color telling me that it was gonna be just as dark as my natural dark brown hair. So I don't know if it was like a freak thing that my hair turned out this color or if she didn't really know what she was talking about <laughs> or if there was a mistake with the packaging. I don't know, part of me feels like it must have just been like a freak thing because I couldn't imagine that she would have led me astray, but I don't know. That's someone's brakes, by the way. Are you turning left? Because I'm turning left. Are you turning left? I'm turning left. All right, I'll be back. So I left Sally's just now. I'm a little like, well, I'm not really upset, but like, I don't know, they're just like kind of, mm, I don't know. There's, I'm just really concerned because they they were really shocked that a level four turned out this way. So, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know if my hair is just like really weird or if like I got a number, a uh, level four and then it just happened to turn out. 
I don't know like I just it just like it had the wrong bottle in the box or if I'm just like a freak <sighs> I don't know okay so I went to McDonald's and I got me an ice cream cone and also an iced coffee to make me feel better because I'm starting to get very sad I kind of want to cry a little bit because well I think it's partially because I'm on my period but also because I'm just so I just want my hair to be back to normal I shouldn't have done anything to it <laughs> and I'm really scared to use the products that Sally's people told me to use not because I don't trust them or anything I just like the level four didn't turn out right on my hair so I'm just concerned that like nothing's gonna turn out right on my hair so i'm thinking about going into this hair salon here um i've seen good reviews about it i've never been to the hair salons around here so i'm a little nervous but this one had really good reviews so i'm thinking about walking in and just trying to set up an appointment i don't it says appointments and walk-ins but i feel like for hair color i don't think that they'll actually take me um but i want to walk in to the appointment so i could show them how my hair is and also tell them like everything i've freaking done to it and just see what they say so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna finish sitting here in this parking lot and eat my ice cream cone and then go in there and be like help but honestly now i feel like so sad and just like I don't know just like depressed I don't know I just feel like really sad and I like want to cry because like I want my hair to look good <sighs> and I spent like $35 at Sally's for that hair stuff I'll probably just take it back well I probably won't today because like I don't want it to be like the same girls because <laughs> it would just like literally think I'm crazy but I'll probably take it back at some point and then just be like, I decided to go with a hairdresser. I didn't open any of this stuff because it was like $35. It was like a lot of stuff. And I told her, I was like, I just want to do like the front parts of my hair. I said, I don't really care if it's like a little lighter or a little darker brown. Like I just want it to be brown. And then she was like looking at me like I was crazy. So I was like, do you think I should do my whole head? And she was like, yeah, I think you should do your whole head. So then she gave me like two of the boxes and like this huge bottle of well, I'll just, I mean, I can show you. Well, first she told me to put this stuff on my hair and let it set for, uh, she said like 20 to 30 minutes. And I think the lighting is like kind of weird in here, so I'm very sorry about that. But um, she told me to put this in my hair and leave it in for like 20 or 30 minutes, some kind of color filler for warm brown. Um, and then she gave me two of these, which... This says it's 4N light neutral brown. And she said that it's meant to cover like pretty much anything. So I guess it should be like, but she said I should do my whole head. So that makes me think that it's like not going to be like a super, I don't know. I'm just like really. Are Sally's people professionals? Can someone answer that for me? Like I feel like you probably don't have to have like do you have to have like certification of sorts like do you have to like kind of know what you're talking about the iced coffee is not very good <laughs> takes another sip i'm gonna go in either i come out and tell you about my appointment or i come out with my hair looking better i don't know <laughs> all right that was a roller coaster <laughs> so i uh first i went in there uh, well, I was gonna go in there, but then she was like leaving and she's like, I'm so sorry I'll be like right back and I was like, okay, that's totally fine So then I sat in the car for like five minutes or something probably not even um, and waited for her to come back and then uh, When she did I set up an appointment for tomorrow at 3 o'clock <laughs> To get rid of this like orange and green and just like nastiness and She was very nice very helpful and I um I, I feel I'm feeling much better having like a professional do my hair but now I have this big bag from Sally's like $35 worth of stuff I don't know what to do I guess I'll just take it back I think they have like a yeah here's a receipt so is there a return policy on here I guess I guess within 60 days I just okay so it should be fine. It said something about like earrings and body piercings don't get returned, but I didn't buy anything like that. I'm literally like, I'm just going to leave everything in here exactly how she had it in here. I'm just be like, I'm very, very sorry, but I decided to go with a professional because I'm kind of a puss. 
But, okay, so I'm feeling much better about that. And then she could get me in tomorrow, which is a plus, because I was like, I just want to get in, like, as soon as possible, because my hair is absolutely, like, look orange and green. Like, I look like a caramel apple or, like, a freaking, like, camo or something. <laughs> I just, I want to go on. <laughs> I want to go on. Well, another reason why I did it is because those girls said that they recommend that I did my whole entire head with this hair dye, but I was like, well, I don't really want to do that because one, I don't want to damage this hair because she's doing fine. She's doing good. And, um, I just don't want to mess around with it too much. I just wanted these parts to be like a dark brown, whether that was a little darker or a little bit lighter than my natural. I just wanted it brown because it would just make more sense <laughs> instead of green and orange, but I don't know. Well, and then I was a little, a little concerned because they were concerned about how this, I used a level four and it turned out this way. They were like shocked, but they gave me more level four so I'm just a little concerned that it's like not gonna work out, but that's been my day so far. It's been pretty um, hectic and crazy <sighs> I'm a little overwhelmed stressed emotional Depressed sad. I think I'm just gonna go lay down for a minute <laughs> Hello everyone, um, it's been quite a few hours well, I will catch you up a little bit. Um, the only thing that's really happened is that I went back to Sally's and returned my stuff because it was like $35 and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I gotta return that. But um, I also, while I was in there, I got a couple of things of like nails, these little press on nails. Well, one, I got a couple of press on nails and I also got some little nail stickers that are really cute so maybe that'll be um some kind of video here soon of us doing our nails together because they're so cute and um they're all like holiday related whatever so i returned that stuff and then i bought the nail stuff <laughs> so about it evened itself out i guess um and then my parents came over and we had dinner and watched tv um, and now here we are so i thought it would be fun to make some cookies. Cookies for Santa, maybe? <laughs> we can make that. I don't have any Christmas cookies. You know, you know the little sugar cookies? You know, the ones that, uh... I wasn't really lying when I said that I do feel like the house is haunted. <laughs> Um, and I think that sometime soon I may do, um, a cleansing of sorts in the house because I do feel that something is going on, <laughs> which part of me is kind of excited because I love stuff like that. And then the other part of me is like, okay, but like I'm home alone. So like kind of, you know, <laughs> I mean, I guess you guys are here. So if you see anything go on behind me, maybe don't tell me, but well, maybe, well, maybe tell me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you know those little sugar cookies that Pillsbury always has for Halloween and for Christmas, whatever. I kind of don't like them. I'm gonna say it. They're so cute and aesthetic and I normally like buy them just because they're cute to make and they're like Halloween related, whatever. But I don't really, I don't really like the flavor. I will say I like eating them raw pretty well, but baking them, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. This this is where the money's at. <laughs> the chocolate chip cookies mm, are delicious. So I thought it'd be fun to make some of these. I'm not gonna make the whole thing obviously because it's just me. So I think I'm gonna make just like a row, which is four cookies. Ta-da. But I will say one of my secrets is I like to, well, I normally get the log and like cut, but this time I got these little dough pieces cause it, it's normally just me eating the cookies and it's just kind of easier, but I like to roll them up into balls because I, I think they bake a little differently um, and I like them better. Like the center will be a little softer and I like a good old soft, soft gooey cookie, you know. And I also, I really need to like eat all of these up before January. My mom absolutely loves these Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies, so I'll probably 
need to make some when she's here. <laughs> you can eat these raw too, which is really nice. Really cool. But I will say these baked, dipped in like some milk. Oh. <laughs> All right, in the oven they go for, I forgot. 10 minutes. It also really doesn't help that me and my parents just spent like a few hours watching uh, like Nuke's Top 5 and all the scary ghost videos and things because that's like our favorite thing to do. <laughs> that's not really helping with me being scared, but I really enjoy it and I'm also a little excited if the house is haunted because I mean, you know, maybe we could do a little something something with that. I have a little mini Ouija board you want to see. I've never actually played with a Ouija board before, um, but I've had this since I was really little. Um, but it's just like a little key, a keychain Ouija board, but it actually opens up right here. here let me see. It opens up like that. Ta da! And then you got this thing to play. Oh, that went right back in there. My spirit guides are probably like, mm -mm, no, not allowed right now. <laughs> but he's pretty cute. But also Cody would probably kill me if I did try to play with the Ouija board in the house. <laughs> All right, so the cookies has like seven more minutes, so we'll do a cool transition. I don't know if that worked or not. <laughs> that was probably trash, but here are the cookies. Beautiful, yummy, yummy in my tummy. And then we have some skim milk. <laughs> So let's eat our first bite. I love when they're like so hot and like super soft. Like, oof. The center is so soft and good looking. Oh wait, no, let's do a cute little like break. Oof. <laughs> Don't know if that looked good or not. Yes, it's so yummy. I love, 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 love chocolate chip cookies. All right, so now I think I'm just going to enjoy these cookies. I may just go and lay down and watch YouTube or something. Yeah, just kick back with my cookies. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of all over the place because my plans got switched up because I became kind of a puss when it came to doing my hair again myself. <laughs> but I mean, at least we got to do like a car vlog. Hopefully it was entertaining a little bit, me just kind of losing my mind about my hair. Um, and relaxing into it, us making cookies together, eating cookies together, whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I love you all so very much. I'm so proud of who you are as a person and what you do every day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.